Okay, so uh, aside from identifying okay, the party from whom the creditor may be compelled to accept payment uh, in order for it to be valid, uh, that party should have the capacity to make payment. 1239 is very clear. Let me read it for you. In obligations to give payment made by one who does not have the free disposal of the thing due and capacity to alienate it shall not be valid. So, what is there for the implication? The implication is the payment made by this person to the creditor may be taken back pwedeng mabawi oh, can the creditor insist on retaining payment because anyway it is a legal payment of a existing debt oh, answer no the creditor cannot insist and if the party making payment who did not have the capacity to do so would want to take it back he may as the payment as i have said based on 1239 is not valid okay but what if that that person who made payment incapacitated accepted by the creditor and uh, he did not take it back anymore see oh, what is now the effect on the obligation is it extinguished answer yes uh, it would be it would be valid as it would be a voidable act which means valid until annulled okay now who could affect the annulment which would result to the returning of the payment made about the di yung party incapacitated not the creditor clear so that is 1239